plasmoids. The official term originated and was coined by Winston Bostick, and he also wrote one of the first papers for plasmoids. So this is the person who coined the term. He created the term. And his paper is incredible. And uh, it was written, University of California Radiation Laboratory, Livermore, California, USA, which is one of two most powerful fusion experimental facilities in our country. And I read his paper and it was absolutely insane. And of course, this is high level physics. We're talking about PhD level and above, pretty much a genius level stuff. But when I read their paper, I found some interesting stuff that I wanted to share with you. And this was the one of the first papers ever written scientifically about plasmoids. So the abstract is interesting. Um, we'll go ahead and read that real quick. Uh, which we'll is read the first sentence. A plasma source can be used to project ionized matter across a magnetic field. I want you guys to really understand how important the magnetic field is with the plasmoid, with plasma, and everything else that's going on. Okay, so first off, when we come down here and I highlighted it, it has not only been demonstrated that plasma can be projected from a plasma gun or plasma source with speeds up to, and it's some crazy speed, but the experimental observations suggest that the plasma travels even in field free space, not as a amphorous blob, I might have mispronounced that, but a structure called a plasmoid. And then we scroll down here and this part I found very interesting. Later in this paper, there will be described stationary plasmoids formed in a magnetic field, which definitely exhibit tor toroidal structure. Now, I had no idea what toroidal structure was, so I googled it, of course, and this is what popped up. And guys, if you've seen the videos, if you've seen the pictures, if you've seen the things in the sky, I mean, this is like matching perfectly to like a sketch in, a, in one of those detective movies or show. Like, this is insane um, because this is very interesting. I'm going to connect everything here later. So we go down here and again, extremely, extremely complicated stuff. But some of the stuff that stood out to me, and of course, I'm nitpicking, I'm looking for things and I'm biased, but a lot of this stuff is cool. So this is a different type of plasmoid. It's called an S plasmoid, but I want you guys to hear this. Though this, mess, though this method of producing the S plasmoid in field-free field space would be tedious, it might nevertheless be fruitful and should eventually be tried. So he's talking about how you could essentially uh, 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 start forming different plasmoids, different shapes, different uh, types of uh, uh, characteristics in it. Now, when you think about physics, you have to understand that you can manipulate certain things by taking and removing atoms and neutrons and trying to do all this very complicated stuff as we see here with all this math. But it was crazy though, because he talks about um, the magnetic field. And I want you guys to understand that uh, when I first made my video about the difference between the drones and the plasmoids out there is that a lot of this stuff has occurred in areas that, um, or in situations that definitely create plasmoids. Princeton's university's lab, right now, I just found this out, but um, they have made some breakthroughs and they have one of the biggest magnetic fields in our entire world. And they are working with plasma and magnetic fields and plasmoid is a part of it. And we don't know, we don't know if they've created a new form of a plasmoid-like situation or energy or whatever. But in the same time, we've also had solar flares and solar flares also produce plasmoids. So there's a lot going on and I really think that um, there's some merit in what we're seeing in the sky. Either it's a form of a plasmoid or it's something plasmoid-like, but we're definitely seeing a lot of characteristics that are similar. So right here it says, it has already been demonstrated that plasmoids can be projected across a magnetic field. It is quite possible that the ionized material ejected from the surface of the sun proceeds and escapes across the magnetic field of the sun in the same manner the laboratory produced plasmoids across a magnetic field. So essentially what they're saying is that there's a lot of uh, what they're doing in the labs and what happens in the sun is there's a lot of similarities. However, these plasmoids leave a wake or track which enables us to photograph their path quite easily. But here's a crazy fact right now. Fusion energy is the number one race for energy in the whole world. So a lot of this stuff, you're not going to see a lot of photography. You're not going to see a lot of things that uh, um, you might see in the sky because a lot of this stuff is a race for energy and, um, and it's crazy. So a lot of things you see in the sky that have these weird kind of things that are moving around. Look right here, guys. 
and a lot of this plasma they could you know barbed stuff or whatever called s plasma it's kind of, and look at right here guys this is what i was talking about we've seen something like that in the sky it is rather astonishing that such a bizarre configuration of plasma and magnetic field should appear to be stable no theoretician known to the author has a priori dreamed of such a configuration to say nothing of comp contemplating its stability so i guess if i read that right nobody has understood why it does that by now i'm pretty sure they have and i'm pretty sure that maybe the goal is to stabilize uh plasma or even stabilize a plasmoid or a new form of a plasmoid or a new form of physics that looks like a plasmoid because remember anything within that realm is going to look like a plasmoid because of the way that plasma looks and the way that plasma reacts and you look at you know the way that it moves within its magnetic fields and these weird little uh, barb things and s things and the way that they shape so a lot of this stuff is crazy but thank you for watching guys interesting stuff